Hey there, this is Clay with ModernLove.Life, and this is Relationship Inner Game. Now, in this video, we're going to be continuing on our series of videos talking about texting your ex. And specifically, if your ex won't respond, there is probably something going on. Now, remember, your ex is having this whole journey through reactants that we talked about in your ex's five stages of getting back together. Um, so keep that in mind, and that definitely could uh, explain why your ex won't respond to you. But all of that aside, there is one thing that people often do that actually discourages their ex from wanting to respond to them. And this is uh, through the questions that they ask. This is through the, the way that they text their ex, or the way that they reach out to their ex, or the way that they contact their ex. Now, first of all, people oftentimes some don't put a question in what they text off to their ex, right? So if your ex just gets some message from you and it's like, look what I'm doing or something like that, they don't know that you want them to respond, right? They, they might think it's just an update. So if you don't ask them a question, they might not know that you want them to respond, okay? Kind of simple, but yeah, you need to ask a question. And point number two is you don't want to make a big ask when it comes to, uh, texting your ex. One of the main mistakes that people often make is they they try to get the their ex to get back together with them through a text message or through one text message rather. You know, they might send the wall of text like we talked about in a previous video or uh, at the end of their wall of text or sometimes a different message. They might directly ask their ex, will you give me another chance? Will we get back together? Can you... Uh, ever see yourself dating me in the future? And these are big asks for your ex. These are very big asks. They might not know the answer to that question right now because again, they're going through their own emotional journey in the process of getting back together with you. They're going from a wall of reactants to test drive to riding the dragon to crisis point and eventually to new beginnings. And if they're like way down here, then they might not know if they want to get back together with you. So they might not respond because they don't know how to answer it, or they don't want to make you feel bad by saying no, or something like that. And so what you need to do is you need to meet your ex where they're at and uh, really speak to where they're at on an emotional level. And this is going to help them to feel a little bit more comfortable responding to you. Also, get in the habit of having smaller asks. So instead of something like, will you get back together with me? Will you go out on a romantic date with me? Will you consider leaving your rebound so that we can give our relationship another shot? Maybe you could try a bit of a smaller ask, like what's the last thing that made you smile? Are you reading any good books right now? What's the news that, about that event that you told me that was coming up? You know, something as simple as that could make the difference between your ex just not responding to you at all and actually wanting to engage with you on an emotional level. So keep that in mind when it comes to interacting with your ex. Now, of course, this is all based around the idea of meeting your ex where they're at emotionally and building a solid foundation of emotional connection between the two of you. If you'd like to really become sort of a master at developing an emotional connection between you and your ex or really you and anybody else, here's what I'd like you to do. Head down below this video, and if you're watching this video over on modernlove.life, our website, just go ahead and click the link down below. And that'll take you over to another page on our website where you'll learn more about how you can develop these advanced relational skills that we teach that help you to create rock solid emotional connections between you and your ex or you and anybody else. Again, that's down below. If you're watching this video over on youtube.com, what I'd like you to do is, of course, after you hit like and subscribe to the channel, and maybe even consider leaving a comment down below letting me know what sorts of videos you'd like to see me make next, um, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to click on a link inside the description for this video. And that link will take you to a different website called Relationship Inner Game. And over on Relationship Inner Game, I'll just ask you to take a short painless like 30 second quiz just telling me a little bit more of the details about you and your ex and your breakup and all that stuff. And once I know a little bit more of the specifics, I can send you some tips, advice, and strategies that will help you get back together with your ex and help you start to build that emotional foundation. Again, that's over at relationshipinnergame.com. But anyway, this has been Clay with ModernLove.Life and uh, I hope that this video has helped you improve your relationship in your game and I'll go ahead and I'll talk to you in our next video. Please take care.